Hello, this is Jonathan Bukhara for Fluent C++. Today we're going to learn something in Boost. Actually, this is a video which is part of a series of video to learn what's in the Boost library. It's actually useful to learn what's in the Boost library because we can use what's in it. And even if we don't use it, it's always interesting to draw inspiration from what's in there to create our own abstractions. So today we're going to learn about Boost Phoenix. Boost Phoenix is a Boost library that helps create function objects and take them to the next level. You know the kind of function objects that go into STL algorithms? The purpose of this video is not to show you every single detail about Boost Phoenix, but rather to show you a broad overview so that you can get an idea of what's in there. And if you're interested, you can always go dig deeper in the documentation, which is quite nicely done actually or it can just enrich your culture as a C++ developer and give you some topic to talk about in a cocktail party. Well, actually, it depends on what kind of party you attend, but if you go to a C++ conference, then most definitely that can start off a conversation. Anyways, let's see how that looks like in code when using Boost Phoenix. To use the components in Boost Phoenix, you have to include the header boost slash phoenix slash phoenix.hpp. To illustrate an example of usage of Boost Phoenix, let's do a numerical operation on two collections. Transform can take two collections with iterators and apply a function that takes a, an element coming from both collection. In this case, we're taking the number coming from the second collection and add it to the double of the one coming from the second collection. Let's see what that code outputs. For the first one, for example, that would be one plus the double of five, which is 10, so one plus 10, which is 11 and so on. The function object we've used here is a lambda. With Boost Phoenix, we can shorten the writing of that function object by using arg1 and arg2, which are themselves function objects. Here is how that would look like. Let's take that we get the same results as before. Yes, here it is. Let's pause and have a look at that expression. It doesn't look like actual C++ does it, because in this parameter, transform is expecting a function object and not the sum of something. But actually, this arg1 is a function object that has an operator plus, which combines it with other function objects, such as this one, which also has an operator times, which combines it with other function objects and so on. So starting out with those small bricks, we can combine them into more complex expressions and into more complex function objects. So this is a function object that is sort of like a lazy function, which means that the actual operation of plus and times will be called later on when the algorithm calls upon the function object. That's a very simple example of usage of Boost Phoenix, but it goes actually pretty far. To illustrate, let's get into another example. We're going to create our own function object that can fit into such an expression. We're going to define a function object that checks whether a number is even. Let's see how we do that with Boost Phoenix. It's actually a very bizarre way of defining a function such as is even, but this way allows it to be integrated into such an expression. Let's use it in an example. Here we're going to take the numbers in the numbers collection and copy them into results only if they are even numbers. Let's see what that code outputs. It outputs only the even numbers. Now you may think, what's the point of all this? We could just have defined an is even function the normal way and pass it to copy if. That's true. 
but we can build on that to actually create more complex things. Boost Phoenix allows to write code that looks like normal code into the parameters that's expected to be a functor. Let's try and use our is even to do something if a number is even and do something different if the number is not even. Boost Phoenix offers the if function object that I can combine with other function objects to build a function object that actually performs a check on an expression. If the number is even, we're going to print even to the standard output. This cannot be into a function object because it's just a normal C++ statement. To be able to write something that resembles such a statement, Boost Phoenix allows to encapsulate a value into a function object that's part of the library that can combine with other expressions to build a bigger function object. To do that, we can use the val function. Val stands for value, as in as this is a value in the spirit of of the function object of boost phoenix which means that this will create a function object that just returns the value that's inside it which is the string even the if function object goes along with the else as you can imagine and with the else we can build another function object that's created from the value odd uh, that can combine with something such as to see out with this operator which is actually an overload on the type of val so this big thing is just one function object that looks like C++ code, but it's a function object. This code will iterate over the numbers in that collection and do that thing. So we don't even need the result collection. Let's see what that code outputs. There we are. The first one is odd, because it's a one, and the second one is even, because it's two and so on and so forth. The purpose of this is just to give you an idea of the kind of thing that lies inside of Boost Phoenix. That's what I wanted to show you about Boost Phoenix. If you're interested to get more details, you can always go to the documentation on Boost Phoenix. It's quite well done, actually. And if you want to talk more about it, I'm more than happy to get your feedback. You can drop a comment in the comment section below or drop me an email or anything, and I'll be happy to talk to you about that. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, then you can share it with your friends. You can subscribe to the channel to get more of them and put a thumb up. Thanks, and I see you next time.